a hot summer's day in Londonderry. Soldiers from the Royal Hampshire Regiment are on foot patrol in the city centre, protecting their RUC colleagues. Their presence barely turns ahead among the passing shoppers. Twenty years on, British soldiers have become part of the Northern Ireland scenery. Earlier, at a joint Army RUC briefing at Derry's Strand Road Police Headquarters, a police inspector alerted the men to the day's particular problems. At 9.05 this morning, there was a hoax bomb call at Shipke Street. So we must consider this vehicle in relation to the use of it, of a possible bomb attack in the city centre. Since 1977, the RUC have held the security reins in Northern Ireland, the Army acting as protective backup. There are around 10,500 troops in the province now, half the figure of the early 70s. All may seem quiet for this patrol, but Commander Lieutenant David Roblin knows the terrorist can strike at any time. The guys on patrol, they look up, they look around themselves. Um, with their sights, they're always very aware of what's on, going on around them. And especially on top of buildings, windows, derelict houses, they're always looking for the possible shoot or device. A foot patrol can last for up to two hours. On a hot day such as this, the soldiers' heavy protective uniforms offer little physical comfort. Well, I've got a shirt under here. I've got an Aniba jacket, which is a, a big, thick jacket with a plate on the front and a plate on the back, which weighs about a stone. Obviously, a combat jacket, trousers, boots and socks, and gloves and a helmet when you're on patrol. So uh, we can't roll our sleeves up because it's uh, if acid bombs or stuff are thrown on us. Their patrol over for the time being, the men return to their operational base and empty their rifles. It's time to relax, but to the outsider, living conditions are primitive. Bunk beds are cramped into small rooms curtained off from the communal living area. Privacy appears impossible. There are recreational facilities like a television room and weightlifting. The men, for security reasons, cannot leave the base. The soldiers, mainly in their late teens and early 20s, accept their almost monastic lot. It is uh, fairly hard going, but uh, that's the job. That's what I signed up for. Well, what did your job involve here? I'm a team commander. I'm in charge of uh, three men, including myself, and I'll take my team out on patrol. What's it like when the going gets tough on patrol? It never gets tough. It's easy if you're fit. What are the plus points to serving here? Women, good looking women out in the street. So, you get the people come out and talk to you and come in really nice and the money. Is it hard to relax when you come off duty? Uh, not really. Well, it depends whether you've got things to do. Like, I've got something to do today. Um, but normally you can you know, get a couple of hours sleep here, a couple of hours sleep there. After 20 years, British soldiers, in common with the rest of the security forces, are still considered prime targets by the IRA. The battle against terrorism on the streets of Ulster is not yet over. Pamela Gardner, TVAM, Londonderry. What's